Hey guys, today we're going to make a freewheeled car. Let's open this up. Are you hiding all the pieces? I don't see them inside this box. Sam, we'll make most of them out of cardboard. Just watch. Here we go. First of all, we should draw the pieces for the car frame right here. I can do that. I have a brush. Let me get some paints. Sorry, buddy, but it's more of a technical rather than an art type of drawing. Check this out. We have all the pieces. Roger, be careful. Sue always warns about how sharp the cutter is. So I'll be watching everything from under this paper. Can you see me? Oh no, Sammy, where are you? Don't hide. I need your help. <laughs> Ruined my plan. Now we can start putting the pieces together. This one is the bottom part of the car, and it goes first. Uh, oh, you're using hot glue to secure them? Wait, let me see. Here we go. Okay, everything seems to be all right. So now we'll press this tightly. And ask Sam for help. Our next step is to put the mechanism together and hide it inside the car. Do you know what these are for? Sure! They'll help the motor rotate the wheels. Ooh, ouch! Sammy, be careful! By the way, do you know any type of transport that can move without any motor at all? I suppose a chariot didn't use engines. It moved thanks to horses. Right! The chariots were widely used in ancient Greece and Rome. They even held special competitions using them. Now this goes here, and voila! Are you gonna make a chariot for my hamster? It could have been a good idea if we had horses here. <gasps> Maybe you could pull it instead. No, 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 we'll use electricity. I don't want to be some kind of a horse. Oh, don't worry, Sammy. I'm not gonna harness you to this car. Here you go, Raj. This charger will keep the car running for a long, long time. Take it. And you won't need any horse top. I need any slime power. Relax, Sammy. We've already finished with the car engine. Now we'll assemble the cardboard wheels to check how everything works. And you had better put the charger back. If you lose it again, Sue won't be happy. Here comes the second wheel. Here we go. Now our car can already move. Vroom, vroom. I'm guessing you're gonna need these pieces next. You're right. Oh, I'm so smart. Now watch closely. Aha, uh -huh. great, it works. What are you doing now? Why do you need those pieces? Didn't you get it? They're for the front part of the car. This is where a driver usually sits. We'll make him a comfy seat a bit later. Roger, Roger, check it out. I put together all the pieces for the front wheel. Wow, looks like you used your super slime speed. Thanks for the help, Sam. I'm just gonna add one more piece here, and that's it. Roger, you can secure the wheel, and I'll hold this, so it won't move. Go, Raj! Phew, shiver me shatters. I didn't imagine it would be so hard to make a car from cardboard. But it's so interesting. So, let's keep going. You know, guys, when I was a kid, I wanted to become an inventor. And now I can basically practice my skills during our crafts. Isn't it awesome? <laughs> but I never forget to be careful when I work with a soldering iron. So should you. That's right. Never use such complicated tools without adult supervision. Shiver me shatters, Roger. You work so slowly. I have to help you out or we'll never play with this car. Don't be so grumpy, Sam. The upper part is ready now. And we'll use it to cover the engine. There we go. We'll also secure the battery on its top. Now let's run a small test to make sure we did everything right. Whoop! Raj, don't you need this part too? Thanks, Sam. Check this out, Roger! I've made myself a welder's mask! Good job! We will turn your mask into a windshield! Now the hamster would safely enjoy the view. Do you really think he'll do that? I'm sure he'll just enjoy the ride. Here goes the headlights. There's no car without them. Take this, Roger. It's great timing, Sam. I know. <laughs> Our headlights will be completed with these things. Raj, what are you doing? <gasps> oh, I know. That is a comfortable seat for the driver. 
We should hide all the wires so the hamster won't pull them out. Oh, my feta! But I think we also need a passenger seat. Here it is. You're completely right. This does look very comfortable, but we need to secure it well. Shouldn't we have painted it? I can bring everything we're gonna need for that. Sam, the hamster can get dirty in the paint if it doesn't get dry in time. Ugh, okay, maybe you're right. Don't forget about the handlebar. Sure, I'm glad you're helping, Sam. It's much easier working together. Check out what I found in the drawer. Will it be useful for our car? Of course, that's a great idea. But we need to change it a bit so that we can use it for the car decoration. That's gonna be a task for a real artist. Good that it's not that hard to work with paper clips. An artiste? That is definitely me. Check out what I made. Oh, let me take it. Guys, be careful when doing this trick. Oh, ha, huh. check out these metal sticks. Oh no, I got tangled. I didn't think paper clips were so sneaky, but I'll set myself free. I believe in you, Sammy. In the meantime, I will finish with these pieces. Now attention, everybody. It's time for some soldering again. Whoosh, and here is the result. Awesome. Holy cannoli, you did a great job. I like those thingies. Thanks for such high appreciation, Sam. I like getting extra creative from time to time. A little bit of effort. Well, what do you say? That's a real piece of art. And now we're gonna need a super screwdriver. We'll secure one end of the wire like this. Go ahead, Rod. I'll hold it. Sammy, stop it. We'll cut off this part. Oop. And the other end goes right here. And now... Hey, Roger! I want to try doing that too! Please! No, Sam. The electric screwdriver is a serious tool, not a toy. Maybe one day you can use it too, but not now. Oh, and this is what you should get. Defend yourself! If you are not giving me that tool, I'm ready to fight for it! Ha, ha, ha. Are you now? <laughs> oh, Sammy, this episode would be boring without you. You're a master of fun. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> and I'm a real magician. Want to see something cool? Bibbidi, bobbidi, subscribity! Oh, let me help you, Roger! Hmm, that's not what I was expecting. I know, let's use it for the roof of the car. While you were playing with the fabric, I already made everything. Check this out. Great job, Sammy. Let's see. We'll place the fabric over the frame like this. And now we'll need to secure it. We're going to sew everything up. Feel free to ask an adult to help. Hey, starting to look like an umbrella. But I don't get where exactly we'll place it. Care to explain yourself, Roger? You'll see that very soon. Let's speed up. Wow, Raj, this looks awesome. Are we done already? Be patient, Sam. Only a few touches left. These are mostly decorative stuff, but still it's very important. Let's install these pieces on both sides and have a test drive. Guys, do you want to have a closer look at our craft? Then let's check it out. Hello, everyone. We know how much you like our hamster crafts. Boom, great. We already got our hamsters acquainted with Among Us and Minecraft in our previous videos. But this time, we're gonna combine the two games together. Holy cannoli, Sue. Tell me, how are we gonna do that? Is it gonna be a maze in the form of a crewmate or something? Yep, but it will be kinda edgy. You know, Minecraft style. Awesome. Support our maze runner with a thumbs up. And this is gonna be the fifth floor. Susie, I'm not judging here, but uh, where are the rest of the floors? Well, you didn't expect me to do everything by myself, did you? Need some textures? 
you got it! Well, how does this look to you, Susie? Wow, so many colors! And each floor is gonna be a separately themed room. Yeah! It would be like different levels in a real game! Milky would have to complete one level before moving to the next one! I hope he wouldn't need to beat the big boss. <laughs> <gasps> Sue, you're a genius! What do you have in mind, Sammy? Milky's way through the maze will be much more interesting if he would have to defeat the enemy! Sammy, wait! Ugh, that restless slime. Our maze isn't gonna be easy to pass through anyway. Hey, Sue! Look who I found! Whoa! What a giant! Holy cannoli! Even Thanos here is intimidated by this huge maze! This is how our craft will look from the outside. Pretty impressive, huh? Do you still think that Milky would need to additionally defeat some big boss? Hmm, sorry buddy, maybe another time. You can help us with the obstacles, though. Okay guys, Milky will start moving from the very top, and this is gonna be his first obstacle. This shouldn't be too hard for an experienced maze runner, right? Hold it, Susan! How do you expect him to get to that floor from the fifth one? Oh, you're right! How could I forget about that? The best thing to do will be to go down the winding stairs. Huh, this doesn't look safe enough, Sue. We don't want Milky to fall off it. Yeah, better? One and two and three and four, uh-huh. That's right! Well, what do you say now? Great job, Builder Sam. Safety should always come first. That is why you guys had better ask an adult to help you with all the moving mechanisms. Now we'll hide all this in a special section over here. And the motor will slowly rotate. Wait, where's the wheel? Come on, it's gotta be here. Are you looking for this, Sue? Yeah, thanks, Sammy. I took that thing to make an improvement and now it's ready to go! A little bit slower. Or faster. It's working! We also need to make it all look neat. Great. Hmm, what can we possibly place over here? Leave that one to me, Susie! Let me just take all the measurements. And voila! Check it out, Sue! Wow, guys, would you look at this? What a nice ladder. Well done, partner. High five. Haha, <laughs> thanks, Sue. Now check out the whole fourth floor, people! Ah, she's busy. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> okay, let's test this. Sammy, what are you doing? I wanted to scare you just for fun, but you scared me with those thingies. What are they? Oh, I'm so proud of this idea. Check this out. To get to this floor, Milky would have to step onto this dropping partition wall, then make his way through this awesome transparent labyrinth up to these moving plungers. Isn't it cool? Ugh, that sounds tough. And what's next? Next, Milky will be making his way through two barriers. Here comes the second one. Let's put it a bit higher. And what's this thingy? A transparent pinwheel through path. Let's also put up these rollers. We'll have two pairs of them on this floor. Rolling and rolling. <laughs> Susie, look, I found a rope bridge. Should I hang it? No, no, Sammy. We'll need this a bit later. Oh, all right. Milky will face it just as soon as he gets out of this floor. Let's check it out once more. Okay, we're more than halfway through, and this is the second floor of our craft. Hmm, what are these openings about, Sue? Did you make them by mistake? <laughs> these are for the elevator to connect this floor with the first one. What a brilliant idea! I want to see how it works. <laughs> Be patient, Sammy. Let me walk you through this level of our hamster's adventure. Here we have a falling bridge. And two rolling platforms already connected to a motor. That is where you shouldn't forget to ask an adult to help you guys! Hey! 
this is a rope bridge, which is actually my idea to install. <laughs> That's right. Let's just upgrade it a little bit. I love it when we work together, Susie. Guys, support us with your thumbs up. Woohoo! This barrier will block this hallway as soon as Milky runs through it. You might need this, Susie. Oh, no, no, Sammy. We should be able to move it like this. See? Maybe you'll need something from this. I got carried away a bit making all the obstacles. Hmm, I could use a ladder. Thanks. Yay, I helped! Let's see. Oh, it fits perfectly. Well, this level's gonna be really tough. See it for yourselves, guys. We're finally at the finish line. Sammy, could you show me that bunch of obstacles again? Holy cannoli, we're almost done! Whee! <laughs> oh, Sammy and his enthusiasm. I can't wait to show this to Milky! And I installed this wobbly deck. Susan, look closer! I've made something else, actually. I already see how cutely Milky will move his body to pass this through. Then he will struggle a bit to overcome these rotating blades and show off his grace again right here. Guys, our complicated yet really cool hamster maze is done! I'm gonna get our adventurous racer and you can have a look at it one more time. Hey, sweetie, there you are. Come on, Susie, let him in! Okay, ready, set, go! Ah! I see that he's dying to test his new maze. Way to go, little buddy! Come on, be brave! Oh, he's doing great with these stairs. Milky, you're a star. Will the first obstacle scare him? Oh, no, it won't. He is so brave. And pretty fast. Ooh, I made that ladder. We all know that, Sammy. <laughs> he looks so funny in that transparent labyrinth. It looks like he does that quite often, too. Do you think he works out in his cage while no one's looking? I don't know. Maybe he's just a natural. Oop. <laughs> Let me open this for you. Aha! The tricky bridge! Let's see how he's gonna handle it. He is so careful and cautious. Move! Move faster, Milky! Or those platforms will start spinning and rolling! Sammy, stop that! Let him stay concentrated. Way to go, buddy! Woohoo! Oh, Sammy! <laughs> Check out how he's rolling that wheel. Aw, so cute. What's more natural than a hamster in a wheel? You're probably right. <gasps> Look! He just nailed that cylinder. Oh, somebody is a professional maze racer. You don't say! All right, Milky is almost at the finish line. Just give him three, two, one second, and... Hey, there he is! I can see him! 